It's pretty scary putting your own personality out into the public. And I like to do this because it's a very English thing. Thank you very much. But it's easy when you go, Marty. Marty. Jesus, e. Marty. Yeah. Yes. After Marty, money. Money. <laughs> money. No, no, no. Um, yeah, very much like Bradford. That's like the Alhambra. Alhambra, down there. Um, that's like my office that I used to work at, that they didn't like, with the devil's mark there. And, um, well, that's like the top of our roof, really, at home, that one. But just a little bit shorter. I don't feel very safe when it's like built up like this. There's no escape. <laughs> It's like a battle. Every day for me is like a battle. I don't know about anybody else. The rest of the musicians that we have with us, it's all kind of, yeah, we're here, we play, because they didn't actually write the songs and they didn't play on the al most of the album. Um, it's different for them. And I see them enjoying themselves. I feel so jealous because I think, God, why can't I just relax? But it's because I'm so like that anyway. I can't help it, you know. And yeah, it's really nice for them, but every day is a hell for me. I'm sorry. I don't know when it's going to get any better. <laughs> guest Tasman Archer has come to the nation to hang out and uh, you're gonna tell us about your song Sleeping Satellite and your album Great Expectations yeah. maybe after the Dickens novel I believe and yeah. and plenty of other things um, first off <laughs> let me introduce you she hails from Bradford England and um, so how'd you get here today how did I get here today uh -huh. by car people say that you're you're a feminist and you have a lot of the F word and you have a lot of feminist lyrics now. Do you, when you write songs, do you sit down going, I'm a mad woman, I'm mad as hell, and, and damn you men? I haven't thought about that. I think, first of all, I'm a person and not a feminist and not, you know, anything in, you know, specific. I'm just a person now. I don't write thinking, all oh, right, this is for women, and yeah. this is for this, and this is for that. I think just in general, I write about things that are wrong with the world and things that I think that could be put right. Somebody once said that uh, they wrote albums according to what was happening in their lives at the time. And I think that Great Expectations was written and it was finished with, in my opinion, um, before we went to America. I'd got rid of that ghost and I was on to another one. I was on to something different.
I know exactly what I want to do now. I just, I know what's involved now. I think I didn't know what, I didn't know what was involved before. I didn't know that there was a lot more hard work involved. I think the proudest achievement is being true to myself, really keeping that faith in what I did from when I was younger right up until now. If it came to the crunch, you know, and I had to do something I didn't want to do, I'd have to give it up, you know. I don't, I can't, I couldn't bear to lose myself, Tasman, the real Tasman art. I couldn't bear to do it. I'll catch you when you I'd have a job, maybe, in an office or, a, or in a hat shop, in a chapel. What size do you want? Ten. Yeah, right, yeah, you can do that, yeah. I've always wanted to sit in that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd work in a chapel shop. Touch the light. 
Thanks. Thanks.